have years of experience in city government under their belts. Well, there's a candidate who's running for mayor in Blaine, has a different kind of background, almost 20 years as a prison inmate, and now a chance for redemption. Melissa Colorado introduces us to the ex-con who is running for mayor of Blaine. They say politicians usually evade the tough questions. Not James E. Whitfield. Uh, I was convicted for uh, uh, unarmed bank robbery and in a note to a bank teller, a stupid decision. A decision that cost him 17 and a half years of his life spent behind bars. I'm a man that has reinvented himself. I've changed my life around. In that time, Whitfield has made a difference in the lives of other ex-cons. After just getting tired of doors closed in my face, I decided to create a nonprofit organization. He created the Ex-Offenders Resource Network, which offers job training to those released from prison. And now comes another frontier, politics. And so I come home and I jokingly tell my wife, I said, maybe I ought to run for mayor. She said, why not? And there's some challenges ahead. The incumbent, Mayor Tom Ryan, has been around for so long, he's now seeking a sixth term. And there's another hurdle. The latest census stats show that Blaine is 84% white. Just 3% of the population is African American. Recently, one young lady told me, said, you know you're about to give people in Blaine hearts and heart attacks. <laughs> like, okay, hey, well, you know, that's their problem, not mine. Whitfield wants to tackle issues involving public safety, create more youth community programs, and he hopes to bring to light problems impacting the city's elderly. Maybe there are some people who have been served time and have some pretty good ideas. I ask him, is he ready to face the criticism that comes with campaigning? I'm prepared for that. You know, I know it's going to come. His debt to society long paid. Will society now give him a chance? So get out there and vote. Hey, take a chance, you know. <laughs> In Blaine, Melissa, Colorado, CARE 11 News. Well, we'll find out how Whitfield does on August 9th. That's when Blaine has the primary elections. Very interesting. Thank yeah. you, Melissa, for that story. There could be changes.